So the iPad mini 6 has been out for about a week now and a lot of people, including myself, got really excited about it. But now suddenly everyone seems to be obsessed with the infamous jelly scroll issue on this iPad mini. But is it really that bad? And should you care? Let's ramble. Hold up. Hey, what's up, guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is why I ramble about tech and other stuff. So the new iPad mini definitely was the unexpected star of this year's September event. And for good reasons, this little iPad packs a punch. It's rocking the new A15 Bionic chip with a six core CPU, five core GPU, and a 16 core neural engine. It has USB-C, which opens it up to a ton of new options. It has side firing stereo speakers in landscape mode. And of course it has 5G. The cameras have also been significantly improved. It has a 12 megapixel camera on the front with center stage and a 12 megapixel camera on the back with a 1.8 aperture for better low light performance. It can shoot 4K at 60 FPS and it can even shoot super slow-mo at 240 FPS in 1080p, but still, this is a serious little device. But what it doesn't have is a liquid retina XDR display with ProMotion and 120 Hertz refresh rate. It has the regular liquid retina display with a 60 Hertz refresh rate. And that is part of the issue we're talking about today, which is the jelly scroll. So let's just have a look at a few things. What exactly is jelly scrolling? What is the likely cause of it? And is this a new phenomenon? Can it be fixed by software updates? And lastly, should you be rushing to the Apple store to return your brand new iPad mini? So there's a good chance that until a week ago, you had never heard of jelly scrolling. I think it all kicked off with a tweet by Dieter Bohn from The Verge, where he showed a slow motion video of the iPad mini scrolling and portrait mode, where there is some kind of a wobbly effect showing whereby one side of the screen is moving slightly faster than the other. It looks a little bit like one side is constantly trying to catch up. Personally, I hadn't noticed it at all, until I saw Dieter's tweet, but it's true, once you see it, it's impossible to unsee it. A more accurate term for this wobble or jelly effect is scan out skewing, and it's actually a quite common phenomenon in LCD screens. Basically what happens is that LCD screens refresh line by line, typically starting at the top of the display, working its way down. So it's normal for the lines at the top to refresh at a different rate than the ones at the bottom. The thing is, this usually happens so fast you don't really see it unless you really, really look for it. Now, is this a new phenomenon? Is it something that is typical for this Apple device? No, it's not. If you search for jelly scrolling on YouTube, you'll find plenty of examples of devices that had this issue. Several Samsung Galaxy tabs had the issue. Even the Galaxy Fold has been reported to have jelly scrolling. But in reality, there are far more devices that actually have this issues, like televisions, computer monitors, you name it. In fact, there is a website called testufo.com that lets you test this on all sorts of displays. Okay, so why haven't I heard of this issue before? Why is it so noticeable on the iPad mini? Well, there are several factors that might contribute to that. First of all, the iPad mini has an LCD display which refreshes at only 60 Hertz. So it's slower than let's say the iPad Pro or the new iPhone 13 Pro models. So even if those pro devices had some jelly scrolling going on, you'd be far less likely to see it with the naked eye. Another reason could be that Apple may have used cheaper LCD displays for the iPad mini. Another interesting thing to observe is that this jelly scrolling only occurs when using the iPad mini in portrait mode. You can't see it in landscape mode. Now, if we consider what we just said about the display refreshing line by line from top to bottom, the reason could be that it does so in landscape mode. So when you turn your device sideways, in this case, portrait mode, the refreshing happens sideways as well. So instead of refreshing from top to bottom, which is your natural scrolling direction, it refreshes from left to right, which would explain why the left side appears to be moving faster than the right side. The guys over at iFixit were brave enough to take this iPad mini apart and what you see then is that the controller board is positioned vertically in portrait mode and horizontally in landscape mode. And their theory that this impacts the jelly effect makes perfect sense to me. The refreshing happens in the direction away from the controller board. So in landscape mode, it isn't parallel with the controller board, so you don't really notice a wobble. But when it's in portrait mode, it goes from either left to right or from right to left, which would explain why, depending on which side of the iPad you hold up, either the left side will move quicker or the right side will move quicker. The iPad Air actually has the same issue, but it's much more visible in landscape mode instead of portrait mode. And you guessed it, the controller board is placed horizontally in portrait mode and vertically in landscape mode. 
So the issue is actually reversed. So the next question would be, is this a software-based issue or is it a hardware problem? And it's definitely the latter. It is in fact a hardware issue. I did a little test whereby I hooked up my iPad mini to a portable external monitor. And while the wobbling is still visible on my iPad, I can't see it on the external monitor. Apple has also come out to say that this issue is normal for LCD displays and it isn't something they should be fixing. Now, if you search the topic on Twitter, you'll find that some people claim it is very bad on their device, while others say they can barely see it or not at all even. Does that mean that some units are faulty? Probably not, because we don't all perceive the issue in the same way. So it depends on how your brain is wired, whether you can actually see the wobble, and if so, how badly. Personally, I also think that a big part of Jellygate is just an internet hype. I swear I hadn't even noticed the issue myself until I read Dieter's tweet, and yes, it's true that once you see it, you definitely cannot unsee it. So should you return your iPad mini if you are experiencing the jelly effect? My personal opinion is no. It's a minor issue that has been blown way out of proportion and that I will probably not notice in my everyday use. You have to be scrolling pretty fast to be able to see it. And unless you hold the world record in speed reading, I doubt that this will be a problem for you. I typically scroll slowly when I'm reading. And if I scroll really fast because I want to get to a certain part of a web page, I don't really care about some wobble in the process. Apple does not see this as an issue they should be fixing. And it's definitely not something that can be fixed by means of a software update. So if you were waiting for that, don't hold your breath. So if the jelly scroll is ruining your experience with this iPad mini and you really can't stand it, by all means, return it. But if you're like me and you don't really care that much, just wait for the hype to blow over and enjoy your new iPad. Guys, if the video was useful to you, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.